All right, everybody. Um, thank you for coming along today. Um, I'm going to be talking about real-world um, apps with Xamarin Forms. Um, so I'm Michael Ridland. I'm a C uh, Xamarin uh, MVP and a featured community blogger. I've been doing Xamarin for about four years now. Um, I run a company called Xam Consulting where we pretty much do Xamarin all day and night um, and love it. Um, so I've been, because I've been doing it for a while, I've, d I've used Xamarin before Xamarin Forms. Um, and I've used it after, or with Xamarin Forms. This is what you'll usually see on the forums. Um, <coughs> Xamarin Forms is a bit of a love-hate relationship with uh, a lot of people, uh, and, it's a and it's an abstraction. So um, you've got the lower level APIs of Xamarin iOS and Xamarin Android, but Xamarin Forms is an abstraction. So anytime you do get an abstraction, there's always going to be um, potential problems with it. Um, it is getting better. And once you do actually sort of figure out the quirks in Xamarin Forms, it can be a very, very powerful tool. The, the truth is, no matter what you do, mobile development is hard. So you've either got the option of doing um, three teams, an iOS team doing Objective-C, an Android team that's doing Java, and a Windows team that's doing Windows Mobile. Um, so you could do it like this. And if there you've got your Windows team, your Apple team, and your Android team. And then you get a UI designer with um, three different interpretations of a UI. So whatever it is, and then you can try PhoneGap. So it doesn't matter what you're doing. <laughs> doesn't matter what you're doing. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so I guess PhoneGap is making progress. Um, I get a lot of customers that come from, uh, from PhoneGap, so... Um, hope it doesn't make too much progress, maybe. <laughs> um, yeah, so Xamarin Forms. The re uh, Xamarin Traditional was um, having the shared C Sharp application lo logic with a native UI on each platform. Um, Xamarin Forms now, with this line up here, has a, um, a shared user interface code um, and with a, just a little bit of native. It really depends. Sometimes you have to have a little bit more native on each um, platform, but there is uh, an amount of um, logic well, that can be shared for the user interface. So, um, yeah, so because it is an abstraction, you're always going to get leaks. Uh, and it is, it is only a year old, so um, over time it's going to improve it and improve. So it's only version 1.5 now. It's not perfect. There's always trade-offs. So if you want to do a, a game, Xamarin Forms is not going to be the right choice. But if you're doing a business application, it's probably going to be the right choice. And, and it does kind of suck less than everything else. So I think what makes Xamarin Forms awesome is the fact that it has Xamarin iOS and Xamarin Android underneath. Xamarin Forms allows you to break in and out of um, the Xamarin Forms model and back to native iOS and native Android. So any trouble you get yourself into, you can actually get yourself out of and have a native app. So it is a native app. When it comes down to it, it compiles into a native app, different to, to PhoneGap and the other solutions. So you don't have to just use Xamarin Forms. So in the past, you can see it on here, this is Xamarin Traditional or the, the native part of Xamarin. This is the Xamarin Forms, and that's um, HTML5. So you can, with Xamarin, you can essentially have your own mini phone gap embedded in the Xamarin application for the parts that make sense. And then you can easily jump out, and go back to Xamarin Forms, and then go back to native as well. So you're not um, sort of constrained to any single thing with Xamarin. You can always, you can flip between them. So Xamarin Forms, it's fast and easy to create UIs. It's got uh, the extensibility points. Um, and anything you can do in a native app, you can do in Xamarin Forms, um, as long as you sort of uh, know how to do it and, and look at the documentation. It's, it's got um, this thing called custom renderers, where you can break out and go into the native code. And there's also dependencies, which allow you to um, call native APIs. And the good thing about Xamarin Forms is it makes you think in a cross-platform way. If you um, ever did Xamarin Traditional, you have a tendency to um, put too much logic near UI because that's the way sort of um, iOS encourages you to do it. Um, but when using Xamarin Forms, 
you have to go out of your way to put lots of logic in the UI code. So it still suffers a, a lowest common denominator. So um, some parts where you go, this is the Android way of doing things. Um, you might not be able to get there with Xamarin Forms. You might have to make a couple of compromises, but you can still do a good user interface. The u coverage of UI elements isn't huge, but it's, there's definitely enough there to build some real world apps. Um, there's like a few tiny cuts with no bordering, padding, radius. And there's a few missing um, extensibility points when um, tapping into the framework if you want to override different areas. So <coughs> my tips is be patient. Mobile is hard, so you're going to encounter issues. It's gonna, there's always going to be problems, so um, just estimate accordingly. So if you're used to doing web projects, just like multiply by three to five, which is sort of the general consensus, which some people agreed with me last week, so it might not be that far off. So don't fight the framework. If you come from an iOS native application background or an Android native, there's certain ways that you're probably going to want things. Um, but really, you just need to think about the Xamarin Forms and the control toolkit that they have and how you can solve the same problem using doing it the Xamarin Forms way. Because if you want to try and take everything you've done on Android or iOS natively before and do it in Xamarin Forms, it's going to be hard. Yeah, so um, pretty big APIs. So when you're using Xamarin Forms, there's only 4,000 APIs. As soon as you break out into native code, iOS has got 33,000, Android has got 40,000. So um, as much as you can actually keep within the framework, um, you're going to save yourself a lot of pain. Once you do go into a custom renderer, it can be um, three to ten times more expensive because of the extra code that you have to write and the APIs that you need to learn. But if you need to, you can go in there. So you've got the option there, but try to keep it within the constraints of Xamarin Forms. Uh, use XAML. So um, I w originally I started out, I used to do a lot of code um, in C-sharp for the UI for Xamarin Forms. But um, after doing a couple of projects using XAML, I find it a lot easier um, to read, especially when you're coming back to it. Um, it does lack a little bit of flexibility, but being able to just come back and read it a lot easier is a lot better. It's so the Xamarin Forms has a messaging center for publish subscribe, so it's great for communicating between different parts of the application. Um, but don't overdo it, because essentially it's like a go-to statement. So if you want to learn Xamarin, the place that I did it originally was um, GitHub. So there's a few, like Xamarin have um, a lot of samples on GitHub, and there's a few other bloggers out there and people that work for Xamarin that have GitHub accounts. So user MVVM. I inherit a lot of um, Xamarin Forms applications, and the worst ones that I inherit are when people don't use their MVVM. Uh, Xamarin themselves don't always recommend, they say that you can roll your own MVVM, but I find whenever people do that, they just don't do it well enough, and the code just ends up in a sort of a spaghetti logic and UI coupled to the um, the navigation. So um, yeah, there's an awesome one called Fresh MVVM, um, and there's a few other ones out there. So the one thing that Xamarin Forms doesn't have is like loading screens, like built into the framework, and there's a good um, framework out there called uh, User Dialogues. So you can easily just put that into your Xamarin Forms application and start using that. So there's an open source project called uh, Xamarin Forms Labs, which kind of fills some of the gaps that um, that are in Xamarin Forms. So there's things like hybrid web views and network services, and um, there's a lot in there. You, I, end up putting it in most of my projects, the Labs projects. So this is a tip. If, if you're actually doing Xamarin Forms a lot, it's, it's good to actually go and understand how Xamarin, how Xamarin works and what it's, actually, um, what's, what it's actually doing behind the scenes. So you can actually even jump into the Xamarin Forms code and you can see what the custom renderers are doing. Um, and I use that a lot. If there's ever a, um, 
um, a bug that I encounter with Xamarin or there's, I want to understand how something works, I'll just jump into the source and just the other day there was a, a bug in um, the master detail and I was able to take a look at this code and figure out the issue and, and work around it. Now, should I use Xamarin Forms? Probably. Um, there's some sucky parts, but th it's still um, better than every other option. So thanks to our sponsors, SSW um, and the New S Uni New South Wales and Developer Express. Thank you very much.